Hello, adventuring tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 6, The Mandate of Heaven, with me, Blue Ankylo. So, um, it took a little bit of time, and I have changed some of the characters. You may notice one of the portraits different, just for fun, and uh, we have some new names. So, uh, I apologize if you didn't get the character you wanted. I kind of just went with the first come, first serve sort of basis. Uh, we have uh, War Raider as the knight. We have the commander as the paladin. Uh, we have, I don't know how to even start here. I'm going to, I think I'm going to call you Pyro, because that's sort of how this name works as far as I'm concerned. If you don't want to be a girl, just let me know, I can change your face. Um, but uh, that was the only slot left I had, so you got it. And of course we have Dawsicles. Um And he's our sorcerer, we've got Pyro the cleric, the commander the paladin, and war raider the knight. So there we go, you've got it. Other than that, I haven't really done anything, of course, so... Um, what was I going to do? For the beginning of this episode, well, we uh, were back over there fighting a little while ago. And we'll go out and kill some more stuff in a minute. But first off, I want to do a little bit of healing. And in uh, Scorpigal, New Scorpigal, you can always do this. <laughs> so you can always heal up for free here. And same with, oops, same with your magic. I think it's this one. Yeah. So you can always get to full power. Uh, pretty easily for free until you start having thousands of hit points and then yeah not so much um, also I think I mentioned at the end of last video we have enough experience turns green means we're ready for level up and we can actually get all the way up to level 3 already woohoo so let's go show you guys how this works how about some training? So luckily it's pretty cheap early on, okay. but it will get more expensive. Okay. Uh, eventually, like once okay. you get to say level 100, okay. Um, okay. I find often I get limited by what level I can train to by money more than experience, because it just gets so expensive. It's another good reason to have merchant on everyone to at least a, a little bit of training. So what do we get for all of that? Well, we got five skill points per level up, and I think that's just the way it goes. I'm not sure if you get more at higher levels or not, but for now, five per level up is fine. Now, one thing I sort of thought about a little bit in between episodes is I'll probably teach perception to everyone, even if I just leave it at level one. Because if you read the skill description here, um, if a trap goes off, everybody with perception has a chance to dodge it. So I might have one person with it high so they can notice treasures and stuff, but then everyone else at least has it a little bit. So if we do set off a trap, they uh, you know maybe won't get killed so easily. Just like Merchant, I'm going to give to everyone and basically just have one person skilled at it. Other than that, um, there's a lot of skills I would like to start working on um, with these skill points. Um, I think I'm going to aim for Expert Merchant, so I'm going to make sure... Uh, Good old, the good old. I'm probably just going to call you Commander a lot of the time. Uh, I'm probably going to give him uh, Merchant, which should let him train to Expert if I can find the trainer. And I'm not going to actually stick with Swords. I haven't really gone over this much yet, but the way Swords work, as you level them up, you eventually get Master, which lets you do uh, two-handed. But Shields are really awesome in this game, so I almost never do that. So if you use something like a Spear instead, um, you can see instead of getting two ha uh, dual wielding, you get attack damage. Attack damage is amazing. You want that. So um, from this one, you get chance to hit bonus. You get some armor class as well and attack damage. And you can also wear a shield. Uh, you just lose a little bit of damage. You don't get the two-handed bonus, but which, which is fine. They might not be the highest damage, but um, specifically because it has that attack damage at master, that makes it better than sword for me. And axe, I think, works a lot like spear, except instead of armor class, I think it gives you uh, recovery speed, so it goes faster. Um, the mace, if you're wondering, uh, bone attack, basically chance to hit and damage, and then eventually a chance to stun, which is pretty good, actually. And then the dagger for our sorcerer, um, we will dual wield with him, because he can't use a shield anyway, and uh, once you can do triple damage uh, based on your skill, like if you've got his daggers up to 10, every strike will have a 10% chance to do triple damage, which is enough to make a, a, good, a good impact. Um, I've got three grand. I think actually, you know what I'm going to do? First things first, we're going to work on bow. If I get everybody up to four bow, um, yeah, I had just enough. Perfect. Um, the main thing I can do is if I save up my money, I can train everybody up to expert bow which will make them shoot their arrows faster. So right now, all we're getting is a uh, chance to hit bonus of plus four. But if I train it to expert, then we'll also shoot faster. And that will probably make the biggest difference right now. 
I might not train like Dozocles. I probably won't train up higher than level four because he's going to want to start working on his magic pretty quick. But early on, I mean, he only has. Uh, let's see, where's the MP? Sorry, I'm blind here. Spell points. He only has 31 spell points right now, so we can't really cast a whole lot just yet, anyway. So I want to save up some money. I think it's two grand per expert level in bow, so we're going to have to save up a bit of, a bit of cash. Now, before I leave New Sorpagol, uh, if you saw this up here, there is actually a kind of a hidden route up there. Also, that giant tower up there shoots fireballs at anything that flies, so be careful. Uh, <laughs> it's not the smartest place to go. So there are a couple more rooms up here. How are you? Expert perception, which we'll want for our probably our knight eventually. And Greetings. identification expertise, which we'll want for probably the cleric. Um, so that will be handy. We'll keep those in mind later on when we're coming back. Sometimes there's kind of hidden spots behind uh, some buildings. I can't remember just where everything is. But uh, Also, if you're wondering, um, sometimes there are rooms on the second floor. And as far as I know, some of them you just can't get to. Like this one above the bank. I think there's actually a room up there. Uh, that unless you can fly, there's no way to get there. It's kind of silly. Um, right, I never did show you these buildings up the hill here, so we're going to go have a look at them now. Might as well. New Sorpergold Temple. Can we assist you? And the way temples work, you can donate money and get uh, blessings of sorts. They will cast uh, buff spells on you. Or if you're injured, they can heal you or cure status ailments for money, of course. No. They don't work for free. <laughs> um, let's head over this way. I told you about these goblins up in the up in this house. So unfortunately for them, you know, we're in a pretty good location up here to just sort of uh, take them out. So uh, arrows. We should be hitting a little bit more often now, thanks to putting some skill points into it. So I mean that was pretty easy. Um, just want to look, for instance. Yeah, the shoot plus seven. I mean, um, it even tells you the recovery time. That might be part of the uh, patch, though. Actually, uh, one of the unofficial patches. I'm not used to seeing that, how, how quickly you get to attack. Um, but yeah, you can see, shoot bonus is skill, spells, and accuracy and stuff. So the better your accuracy, the better your skills, um, the, the more often you're going to get to attack. Which is good. You want lots of turns. Especially once we're in melee and stuff. So this is the Guild of the Self. You'll remember we, uh, we joined this guild in the, the first real episode. It will also let you teach spirit magic and mind magic, all the all the clerical type spells. Unfortunately, it's pretty expensive, so we're not going to go for them right now. I can show you some of the upcoming spells, though. These are all randomly generated every week or so, I think. Um, but this one will only sell like low-level stuff. So um, most of these, I'm not going to go over them super much right now. I can't really afford any of them. Um, I would probably have the merchant buy them, but still, 486 is a lot of money. I want to save my money for training our archery up first. Um, but I do want... Where is it? Do they even sell it? There's a spell called Cure Wounds uh, that's body magic, but they don't have it right now. So uh, that's our best early game sort of healing spell. One of the things about this game is um, healing spells are not... Healing isn't that easy to do with magic, so... I'm going to start to try to remember to use double speed to get around. And the Element Guild, we also bought a membership to this in the first one. And he can train us in all of the elemental spells, skills, whatever, for, uh, for our uh, sorcerer here. But um, again, I don't have the money for it just yet. Um, there's a few good ones, though, if I can see them. Firebolt, I believe, is pretty good. This is your first increases by skill sort of spell. So it'll be one to four for every point you put into fire, which is pretty good compared to what we've got right now. Um, I'll go over more of the spells as I start buying them, but uh, Cold Beam is the same as the Shock spell we've got, basically Sparks or whatever it's called. So there's a lot of basic spells like that. We'll get to it. You can only get the easy low-level spells here anyway. So, so now, essentially, we're going to start exploring around... New Sorpigal. On that direction, there's a giant field full of goblins. We're going to go there before too long, but um, for now, let's start on the outside in this slightly easier side where there's not so many things to kill us. Um, I am going to do some potion brewing at some point. It's also a good idea to click on rocks because sometimes they have stuff for you. Actually, what you could do, oops, wrong button, is cast Wizard's Eye, I think. Now, it's not going to last that long. Right now, we can only cast it for one hour. And on the mini-map, it'll show us some stuff, as you can see up there. Yellow dots. Oh, I forgot about that. Corpses. I forgot to show you 
the uh, how to get up there. Yeah, you go up this way and pick up the corpses, get some money. There's also a, a room how up here. You? Expert learning. Now, learning is a skill I want to pick up, but I think it's pretty expensive. What it does is it uh, just gives you more experience per kill and for quest rewards and stuff. So if you get it early on, you can get quite a few extra levels up from it. Of course, it's debatable as to how much you want to, uh, how many points you put into it, because it's kind of not making your characters more powerful, it's just making them get levels up more often. Anyway, here we go. We got some new stuff. Green potion. Resistance. Yay more potions. Um, I don't think you can brew on this page. You have to brew in someone's inventory if you're wondering. And a fair bit of money. Not a ton, but uh, some. Our first axe Aha. and a hammer. That's better than what she's got, I, I think. Know. So um, the fact that she couldn't identify that, or our cleric pyro, I don't know. If you're a boy or whatever, you know, just let me know if you want a boy face. It's fine. I don't mind. I don't have to. I'm not trying to insult anybody by calling them a girl. <laughs> anyway, 2d5 is better than 2d4. It's a little bit more damage. And now she's got a war hammer. Yeah. Um, we'll get to the armor and stuff later on. I the don't axe. Know. No. No, I have to give you the skill first anyway. Uh, that'll come soon enough. We need more money. I think I'm going to go over this way first. If I haven't explained it yet, and I probably haven't, you can't walk through water. And in fact, if we jump into it, we'll take damage right now. Although I believe... Yeah, I can make a small jump like that without landing in the water. But uh, if you try to walk into the ocean, you'll uh, you'll hurt yourself, let's say. So there's lots of random dudes over here. Stone cutters, guides, um, wind master. Wind masters could be cool. They, uh, I don't know if they'll teach you flight or just... Uh, not teach you if they'll cast flight for you or just improve your air magic. I guess we could find out. I'm not gonna have enough money for her anyway. Hello. Join. Yep, she can cast fly spell once a day, but she'll take 20% of all the gold we find. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's an option if you don't have a, a mage that can cast air magic. Cook pot. We find some food. Yay. So, uh, yeah, cooking on stuff is good. Also, <laughs> Those of you watching the minimap may have noticed the uh, goblins coming for us. So we're gonna we're gonna try to kill these guys. Press R instead of shoot. That's why you wanted to rest. All right. You know what I should be doing here? I should pause it, and then the enemies can't run around so much. I don't think range really makes much difference. As long as you can shoot, you can hit them. I think. And you can see them coming over the mountain. It's a little bit disappointing because I can't really climb up that steep, steep gradient there. Stop your running around, silly goblin. Let's go punch him. Okay, I'm trying to punch him. We're missing. You know what? We should just stick with the bows. <laughs> it's too hard to hit Got stuff with, with melee right now. No one's skilled at melee at all. Oh, the uh, wizard's, uh, whatever you call it, the wizard eye spell wore off. So, uh... We can't see them on the minimap anymore. I could recast it. Wizard's Eye. It's not a bad spell. And I think it'll actually make it easier for you guys watching, because you'll be able to see what's going on a little bit better. Ha! Take that, stupid mages. I, I could be casting some spells here. Alright, good enough. We win. Victorious. So this place is the... Uh, what does it call it? doesn't really say. We can go in there. This is actually the temple west of New Sorpigal, and I believe... Um, where's my quest page? Do, do, do. Um, yeah, the candelabra should be in here. This is. I'm pretty sure this is the abandoned temple. And there might be more stuff too. Um, yeah, rescue Angela. So we've got a couple little quests in there. I'm not going to go in just yet, but uh, we will explore that. That'll be one of the first dungeons we try to clear. It's pr pretty easy. And it might even connect to some spiders, maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I don't know. I would like to have at least a basic understanding of identification and... Um, Aha. Oh, that's a nice shield. Aha. And the basic skills and I stuff. I don't know. Before I uh, take, tackle a dungeon. I want to at least know how to swing a sword and wear some armor and stuff. So I'm looking for money right now more than anything. So let's continue our surrounding... Oh, look at these guys. Where do you guys come from? So our knight managed to get a good hit there with his spear, if you've noticed. Um, he's probably... Well, he's probably got one of the better weapons, certainly. Alright, boy, you guys are trying to run away from me. Silly goblin. 
All right, this is that other bridge I was talking to you about in the first episode where I said, you know, there's going to be some goblins. These are the ones not letting us rest by the buccaneer's den. So let's kill them up. Uh, water like this, um, the AI in these kind of games isn't terribly smart. So you can get them stuck behind obstacles like uh, a river. And they're not really smart enough to go around very often. I think they might get around to it eventually. But they certainly don't know how to path around on their own. Alright, good. Killed a bunch of stuff. Now one thing if you're playing along, be careful tapping the space bar to pick stuff up if you're near one of these. Because you want to make sure the right person is opening boxes. Because there are traps. Not that we've hit one mm. yet. Broadsword. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> yep. There's no skill for brewing or anything, so you don't have to worry about that at least. I um, Trying to do Aha. some basic identification. Long dagger might be better. I don't even really care about the club. They only sell for like one gold, so it's no big deal. We do need lots of money right now though, so that up. Oh, we've gotten a little bit too close to that castle up on the hill. I think they're coming for us, if you noticed. <laughs> we can clear out the stuff. So that's the Goblin Watch Keep. That's another dungeon that we'll do pretty early on. And uh, I might not go into it just yet, but we can clear out these surrounding baddies. Not here. <laughs> Come on. Kill them all. Tap, tap, tap. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, snuck up on us. <laughs> no match for us. You know what? It's time for turn-based battle. Static charge. Blast that guy. Now, enemies can kind of block the shots, as you can see. There's a little bit of... Um... Oops, that was the wrong spell. Ah, sorry about that. Cast some first aid, too, while we're thinking about stuff. Um, they can get in the way of your shots for ranged attacks. Melee doesn't matter too much, but they can block up sort of what you're doing. And there is also um, your position in the party. So like uh, War Raider will kind of attack from the left side of the screen if he's shooting arrows or something, rather than the right side of the screen for Dawes Uh Let's open this up. Got it. Ooh, a big one. Lots of money. Load us up. I'm looking for about 8,000. <laughs> Two-handed swords generally suck. That's a general uh -huh. rule of thumb. Cutlasses don't seem very good to me. Mm. Leather armor, I mean... I don't know. Probably don't what know. the way it works for identification, if I remember correctly, it's like how much the I don't know. axe is valued at or any anything they pick up trying to identify. The, uh... What's... What was in melee? Oh, he was up... Oh, it counts as melee through the wall or something. <laughs> Yeah, right there. Come on out, guys. We're still in no position to actually fight uh, a large group of goblins up close, really. Um, as much as we're getting tougher, getting a couple levels up, um, in large numbers, these things would slaughter us. Are you over there? Yeah, there you go. So we've got to try to stay a bit away. The beginning of the game is certainly dangerous. In fact, the whole game, I wouldn't say this game is easy by any stretch. Um, sometimes you can sort of punch them through walls. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Pause. Let's think about this for a second. Maybe do some spells. There you go. Static charge just doesn't do enough damage. Okay, you gotta get healed up there. Pyro. We've got, uh, I'm trying to remember everybody's name now. So we got, uh, War Raider attacking here. We got... Dawsocles casting static charge, which obviously isn't that great. And we've got the commander who missed. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Get it together. Eh, one damage, not very good. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Let's do a little bit of healing again. Try to stay alive. All right, it's your turn. War Raider. Kill. Good. Ha ha ha. More spells. Six damage. Oh. Hang on in there. Hang in there. Alright, 16 damage. That's pretty good. That was like critical hit or something. More spells. Still got some spell points. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. More spells. Um, I haven't really gotten into the elemental effects and stuff yet. Um, 
Static Charge does electric damage, which is actually one of the good elements. Not a whole lot is immune to electric damage. Oops, that went. Get their money. Okay, so this is uh, one of the entrances into uh, Goblin Watch. And just like the abandoned temple, I'm not actually going to go in there just yet. Because out here, at least, we can run away if we're in trouble. In there, it's kind of narrow corridors and it's a little bit more risky. I think there's also an entrance on this side. Yeah, the main gate, so. That's what you need the key to get in for, basically. Also, I noticed there's some red dots over there. Let's kill these guys. Kill them all. Might be more efficient to not shoot super fast. Ha, got him. Just imagine if we had master level archery, we'd each be shooting two arrows at the same time. Would be pretty amazing. Now, one thing I haven't really showed you guys is... You guy. You guy. <laughs> hey, guy. Um... This direction is the way to Castle Iron Fist, but it'll take five days and you'll use a lot of food. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to walk. Um, if you follow the road, it might take a slightly less time, but uh, you know, we're not going to worry about that right now. The zones on the map aren't actually super huge. Um, they're big enough, but it's not like, you know, enormous sort of size. I love this double speed. I've got to remember to use this more often. Um, the zones aren't super huge. Uh, you know, it's an old game. You can't just get everything. Alright, we see some enemies in the distance. Let's kill these guys. Kill these guys. Now, we are getting a little bit close to where those mages were coming from in the first episode. Um, from the other side of the hill where they were walking over to get us. We're gonna... I don't think I actually want to fight them just yet. I think I want to head back to town first. If I remember correctly, that house over here is actually where the uh, our trainer, the wizard Faragar, lives. But uh, I'm uh, not ready to go that close to the wizards right now. Yeah. You can see where we came out here right by the starting. That direction is definitely where all those wizards live. And I don't want to go there just yet. So, um, first things first, let's just do a little bit of drinking up. Look at this. Might as well use it while we're here. Uh, I probably would have been wise to get the accuracy first, actually, that would, uh, or sorry, it's might. Not a huge difference. And you can only get it once, if you're wondering. But uh, that would help with our melee attacks a fair bit. Um, doesn't give him an attack boost, but you will be doing more damage. So, damage is good. Now, um, I think what I need to do is look at our inventory here. See what we've got. Um, I don't know. Bro oh, I forgot about this. Oh, yeah, so... Long sword. The broad sword is certainly a little bit better for now, for temporary sakes. Um, you're going to sell this. You're going to keep your shield because no. you can't wear it yet, but uh, at least I want to buy a new one. Um, I'm going to give all these to the guy to sell to uh, the commander. He's our salesman. Keep one shield for later and pass another shield on. She'll want one shield. I don't know. Probably have to pay to get some of the stuff identified. Can sell that. I don't know. Have to identify that. Um, anything else? No. Oh, uh, you can't even wear that yet. What's our best dagger know. here? Can't use it yet. 2d3. That's better than 2d2. We'll go for it. Like I said, I don't want to waste a ton of money just yet, but uh, let's sell some Looking stuff. For a weapon. So most of this stuff is good to sell. And, I mean, we don't get a ton of money for it, but... Oh, right. Can't sell off... Again. Can't sell armor to weapon missiles. Don't touch the That's merchandise. fine. I often chuckle, if you send someone in that doesn't even have the merchant skill, if you remember from the first video how they always sort of make fun of you. We are getting almost half the value for the uh, stuff we're selling at the very least. Uh, I think that's all the main things I want to sell. Oh, I should be identifying maybe. How much is it going to cost? Um, I don't know. 67 bucks. I don't know. Is it worth it? It could be magical. Let's see. It's not magical. Okay, you know what I should Come be doing? Soon. Um, I will, I'm actually going to focus on armor class for my mage for now, for, for, for Dozocles. So you've got a dashing cape there to, to uh, zoom around with. <laughs> but uh, that would help him stay alive a little bit better, because his armor class will be the worst for the majority of the game. Um, do I have enough for level up? I forgot to check. Not quite. Still got two grand to go. Looking for a weapon. Um, I could get some of these identified... You know what I should do? As much as I want to learn um, the higher... What are you looking at? I, w I want to get my guys the axe and stuff. So that you can learn the axe. And you can learn leather. At the very least, I have to get at least the basics. So now you can use... I don't know. Well, 
an unidentified axe. I think I can do it like this, and you can see what the damage is. So he gets 8 to 17 or 11 to 15, but he also gets an attack boat modifier with the axe, so I say that's a good idea. And Dazocles, you can have some armor. Lucky you. So that should help out a little bit. Waste a little bit of money on the basic skills just to get them learned. I should learn shield with everyone too, actually. Everybody that can learn shield. I think it's fairly cheap. Unfortunately, I don't think I can learn it here, right? Um, we'd have to go back to what Castle Iron Fist. Because this guy only teaches you uh, some of the weapon skills, unfortunately. Uh, and I think Looking now I've got one weapon? more thing to sell. Goodbye, broadsword. Come again. And anything else we need to do while we're in town with our? Oh, I should. I really should identify that axe. Looking for a weapon. Uh, all right. You can't uh, unequip while you're in a shop. Looking for a weapon. Sorry about that. All right, sixty bucks. It's uh, just a normal battle axe. It's still pretty good though. Um, fine. Two normal battle axes. All right, that's all you get. Uh, I'll have you sell this one for now, and then Come give you again. the other one to wear, just so we're not carrying around so much junk. Um, I will want. I, I said before, you know, I'm gonna want her to wear a chain eventually. That's why I'm holding on to that. And these guys will be wearing plate at some point and a shield as well. I also, it might be worth going back to uh, Castle Iron Fist to try to get more of these precision bows because they are a lot better than uh, longbow. But for now, I'm just still going to save up eight grand for the uh, training I want. So that covers those. I still want to save my money mostly. Let's head. Let's head this way. So actually, no. There's one thing I want to show you before we leave town. Too far. On the hills here scoop that up there should be there you go a sword and a stone amazing and wow I didn't think I could pick that up uh, you need a certain amount of strength to pull those things out so he actually just scooped a two-handed sword out uh, he obviously was strong enough with his plus 10 might there so there you go good job war raider you got yourself a sword that you're not gonna use 45 I don't know does it count it's technically a bit better than the spear but for now you know you're gonna use spears that's the idea anyway Let's continue on. So, if you remember, I mentioned across, you know, just to this side of the town, there was a giant field full of goblins, and there are a ton of goblins over there. Do not run over there. No matter what you're going to do, you're going to have to play a baiting game and try to lure them out in a small quantities at a time. Am I on double speed? Normal speed, okay. I don't want to be going super fast for this. So what you want to do, even if you're not using arrows, is get close enough that you can see some of them moving around, maybe sort of aggro one or two groups, and then let them walk to you. Because if you just run in there, you're gonna get swarmed. Now, later on, once you're powerful, it won't matter, but uh... Got it. Hey! Wow, that was lucky. A random rock. I, I don't know. And that's a really good know. longbow, even though we can't identify it. I don't know. That's probably better than her warhammer, too. I don't too. know. All this stuff is good. I wow. Don't know. Helmets. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, let's show you guys before we get into this battle here. I'm pretty sure this is one of the really no good idea. bows. I think it's called like a magic bow or something. Um, let's see if it works. Yeah, so it's got two more hit to hit bonus. So it's got like a plus six shoot bonus. And it does way more damage. So wowzers, that was a lucky find, I think. And that means everyone can get a slightly better bow. Perfect! All right. Yeah, there are rocks like that that you just click on and you get stuff. And I think that's, I seem to recall that being a trapped rock usually. So usually something sets off, but maybe our little basic defense skill was good enough. Anyway, um, this should make that a little bit easier. Now we've got a lot of goblins to kill, but we're slightly better shots. Let's move a little bit closer. I'm, I'm often uh, torn on whether I want turn-based mode or... Uh, if you're trying to aggro them, um, if you're wondering, one of the easiest ways is walk until the lights turn just from green into yellow. And that way you know you've just sort of got into the range of one of the groups. And they'll start walking towards you, but they won't. I mean, you guys understand how these kind of games work. You don't want all the groups to attack you at the same time, right? So uh, we're just going to do it like this for a while. Later on, you know, we'll be able to run in there and kill everything at once. But I mean... That guy over here, the red one, that's a goblin king. He's actually pretty tough. I think he's got a ranged attack and everything. Two damage. He's probably got some resistances and stuff. 
Um, I still haven't really explained resistances very much, but it works like most games, you know. If they have resistance to magic damage, magic type spells that do specifically magic damage, um, will do much less. And if I remember correctly in this game, um, early on, not a lot of enemies are super high resistant, but later on, everything becomes essentially magic immune nearly. So you can't really go all out just with uh, magic type damage stuff. It, it's not bad, but uh, it won't last you forever. So I feel pretty good about this. I've had a lot harder time going through here before. Oh, well that hurt a little bit. Let's, uh, let's be smart about this. <laughs> if you are quick, you can often cast a spell as projectiles are incoming. or You can even um, say you're falling from a large height and you're about to die from taking um, falling damage or something. You can heal your guys on the way down if you're quick, cast a spell. I think you can cast like Feather Fall or something on your way down if you're really on the boat, if you're quick, if you're speedy. Yeah. So yellow rain seems to be the limit for archers. So I'm just gonna carefully work my way through this giant group. Um, we're already up to 30 minutes, wow. I was hoping to clear out all the room around, all the enemies around New Sorpagal. So maybe I'll continue this on until I've cleared this giant spawn out. While I'm doing this, I'll take a minute to mention, um, actually, you know what I can do? Let's put it on speedy or speed. Yeah, this will help a little bit. Um, enemies do respawn in this game, as well as the treasure chests and stuff, uh, but it takes a fairly long time. I can't remember exactly how many in-game days, but it might be like a month or half a year or something of in-game time. So, now that we've killed everything here, it won't show up again for a fairly long time. Um... I mean, it will eventually, but, uh, oops, not what I wanted to do. But, uh, we'll be okay for a fairly, while, a fairly nice time. Let's scoop up all of our stuff. I am, uh, I'm super, super fan of this double speed, yeah. Whoever patched all this stuff in and added stuff like that, genius. Absolutely genius. Now, if I remember correctly, all these little treasure boxes are probably trapped. And I'm not super confident that a disarm of one is going to be enough. So you might get to see some explosions. Got it. Ah, he got it. Assumedly, if it was trapped, he did okay. Oh, we're getting some money now. Uh -huh. Another hammer. I don't know. One of the better swords early on, even if she can't identify it. I don't know. Yeah, we definitely got to put some know. points into identify. All right, back to him. Lots of boxes over here for loot. Got it. Got it again with no explosions. Very nice. I don't Very know. nice. I don't know. Still can't identify anything. Yeah, okay. As soon as we get a level up, she's going to learn some uh, identification. I don't think you need a lot early on to, to open stuff up. Or, sorry, not to open stuff up, to identify it. But you do need a little. Um, I think if I get it up to like four and expert, she'll be okay for quite a while. Got it. Yeah, good. So we're getting all this stuff. Uh -huh. There we go. We can identify the helmets uh -huh. at least. The lousiest of uh -huh. helmets. And anything else to do around here? I think it's generally a good idea to click on these cooking pots and you get a little bit of food or something. Um, sometimes they can be like poisoned or something. But uh, now over there, that's the last zone. That's that one full of mages. We will go there eventually, but I'll have to save that for the next episode. That'll be the last zone around New Sorpagal that we're going to clear right now. Um, there is stuff over that way, but we can't get there right now. Um, you can kind of see on the map there's a stuff over there. Unless you've got uh, water walking or flight or something. Well, I mean, you might, we might be able to jump over there and survive the drowning, but it's probably not the smartest thing we ever did. Also, there is this house here and some random peasant girl. Hello, the traitor. How are you? She doesn't want to talk to us. She even talks to you. Hey, the commander, she actually talks to us, but she doesn't like us. <laughs> she doesn't know that we're actually heroes in disguise. How are you? So another teacher that teaches us ancient weapons. What could that be? I'm gonna leave that as a mystery. So um, should I go? I let, let, we'll head back to town first, maybe sell some stuff off. Oh boy, we got a lot of stuff here. Let's put some helmets on people. Did she? Uh -huh. There you go, identify that. Oh, he's got two, so you can wear that helmet. They're not that cool looking, but uh, eh, they're better than nothing. Plus two AC, that's okay. Did I get a better hammer for you? I don't know. Maybe. She doesn't I know. know. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of this stuff uh, we're gonna need to identify, I don't know. but um, I don't know. I don't really want to waste all the money on it right now to pay someone to identify. Uh, I can sell most of this stuff. Oh, she's got a lot of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. 
I think usually what happens is the cost to identify kind of counteracts how much money you make by selling it. So it's not, if you don't have the identify spell, you're not really going to make a lot of money. Unless it turns out to be magic or something, which these probably aren't. So, um, yeah, let's wrap things up for today, basically. I think that was a good episode. Uh, we got to do some fighting, we got to do some exploring. We've, we've explored most of New Sorpagal now, or the zone around it. There's only a few areas left. We've got those mages to deal with, and then a couple dungeons. So we'll, we'll probably start uh, dungeon dwelling next episode, although with a bit of oh. luck... Um, oh, has the time gone by? Oh, that's okay. Um, with a bit of luck, we'll make enough money to go get some expert archers before we go down there. I always think that's a good idea as a first, uh, first skill point exp ex uh, first expenditure is get your merchant up a little bit and then get bow up for everybody to get to expert. Anyway, I've been rambling on a little bit. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Oh, you know what I should do? Closed. Oh, it's okay. I just want to do this quick. I want to see how good that bow is. I don't care if it's going to cost us a bit of money. So, um, take that off. I'm not sure if the, uh, weapon. it's possible you get a discount on your merchant. You do get a discount for almost anything with merchants, so probably having him pay to identify is slightly better. We get, bam, Matt, oh yeah, that's one of the best bows I've seen. Like for, for, for mid game or even late game, that's a good Come bow. Again. Wow, lucky us. Magic bow of fire, I thought it was a magic bow. Wow, so plus one to six fire damage on top of everything else? No wonder he does so much damage. Good job, good job guys. That was that was good. So I hope you enjoy your new bow, War Raider. You've got the best bow we're gonna get in a long time. And uh, we still want more of these, the precision ones, but for now we're okay. Alright guys, so anyway I'm gonna wrap the episode up here. And next episode we'll, we'll continue exploring and playing the game. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed. Have a great day!